So here's a quick video on how to select half of your mesh. And the first thing you might want to do is, you know, turn on x-ray and then do a lasso and you may or may not get what you precisely want. So it looks kind of good, but here, you know, you can see that I missed, you know, a couple of vertices here and now that'll obviously be reflected at the top as well. It turns out you can actually do this directly inside Blender. And we'll take a look at that. So the first thing I'll do is deselect all my vertices and then turn off X-ray. Now I'm going to select a vertex in the middle. Anything on anything in the middle edge loop will work. So I'll just select that one. That's not directly in the middle. And then I'm going to go to select side of active. And then there you go. <laughs> one side of the mesh is selected. And we can invert that by changing the axis sign down in this panel. So you go between negative and positive, right? So what the tool is actually doing is taking the vertex we selected, which is this white one here, and then it, you, it takes in the axis here, which is X. So it takes the X value of that vertex, and then I'll select anything, in, given the positive axis, I'll select anything that is greater than or equal to the X value of the selected vertex. Likewise, if you change the axis sign to negative, it'll select anything less than or equal to um, the X value of the selected vertex. Also take note that I selected a vertex in the middle edge loop to achieve this. The reason I did that was because all the vertices in the middle edge loop have the same X value. Let's see what happens if I try to do it on just, you know, one side of the mesh, but not, you know, not in the middle. Let's go, you know, so I select the vertex, side of active, and you can see that we aren't getting, you know, the half of the mesh, you can see how you get like kind of this step pattern in the sphere because the X values of all these other vertices are all greater than the X value of the vertex I selected. So let's deselect everything and go back to where we were. So deselect all the vertices, select a vertex in the middle edge loop, go back to select, side of active, or back to where we used to be. Now you might not want the middle edge loop, right? So in this case, there's just a nice clean edge loop directly in the middle and we can just alt shift click an edge and we can deselect it. Unfortunately, you can't always do that with every mesh, right? So let's, you know, undo that. So if you want to select everything, say to the left of this middle edge loop, but you don't want the middle edge loop, here's what you can do. Let's actually just go back, select a middle vertex, and do select side of active, invert the axis, right? So now we've selected the middle edge loop and everything to the right of it. So how can we, you know, get what we want? Control I, and there you go. You've inverted your selection. And now we have everything on the left side, but the middle edge loop. So that's all I have for this video. Um, thanks for watching.